Hello, welcome to session 3 in the Workday HCM training series. In this training video, we'll go over setting up Workday compensation structures that include compensation packages, grades, grade profiles, compensation plans, elements, compensation bases, and eligibility rules. Here is a diagram that illustrates the Workday compensation structure. Let's go into details into each of these components. Compensation Eligibility Rules Workday allows you to create rules to determine workers' eligibility to compensation components during staffing events. Rules can be defined based on any combination of attributes mentioned here. Compensation Grades and Grade Profiles Compensation grades are used to define pay ranges for jobs. Workday allows you to specify 3, 4, or 5 segments in a pay range. You may define local pay ranges for jobs using compensation grade profiles. For example, you may want to define pay ranges within the United States depending on the worker's location. You may create and assign eligibility rules to specify the population eligible for these grades and grade profiles. Instead of a range, you may also define a single monetary amount for grades and grade profiles. These are called steps. Total base pay is the default compensation basis customers use to define pay ranges. Compensation elements added to the base pay elements field on the compensation grade drives the total base pay calculation. You may define additional pay ranges for other compensation bases. Compensation plans. Workday allows you to create different pay types that contribute to employees' total compensation. These include salary plans, hourly plans, period salary plans, bonus plans, commissions, allowances, stock plans, etc. You can map these plans to payroll earnings through compensation elements. Salary plans are used to define the base salary for employees. You don't specify currency and frequency on the salary plans. They are derived from workers' compensation grades. Check Apply FTE percentage if you want Workday to prorate the salary based on the full-time equivalent value. Check Exclude from Merit to exclude the salary plan from total base pay when you initiate the merit process. Add an eligibility rule if you want a specific population eligible for this plan. Hourly plans are used to define rates for hourly employees. Specify the default amount, currency, and frequency. Check minimum wage if the amount entered is the minimum wage for the plan. Check exclude from merit to exclude the hourly plan from total base pay when you initiate the merit process. Workday allows you to define additional pay like the car, cell phone, and medical allowances using allowance plans. There are three types of allowance plans, amount-based, percentage-based, and unit-based plans. For amount-based plan, enter an amount, frequency, and currency. For percentage-based plan, enter a percentage, compensation basis, and frequency. For a unit-based plan, enter the number of units, unit value, frequency, and currency. Check Apply FTE percentage if you want Workday to prorate the plan amounts based on the full-time equivalent value. Check Exclude from Merit to exclude the allowance plan from total base pay when you initiate the merit process. Check No override not to allow amount overrides at the employee level. Check Reimbursable if the amount is reimbursed through expenses and exclude from payroll payments. Use plan profiles to specify different amounts for different population. Similarly, you can define other plans mentioned here. You may use the compensation plans report to see all the compensation plans defined in your tenant. Compensation Basis A compensation basis is a sum of compensation plan amounts assigned to a worker. Compensation basis provide an alternative view to workers' compensation. Workday delivered a few compensation bases. Total base pay is one of them. Workday calculates total base pay using the compensation elements mentioned on the base pay element field on the compensation grade. Total salary and allowance is another compensation basis delivered by Workday. 
It includes all salary, hourly, period salary, allowance, and calculated plans. You may exclude calculated plans from this basis. It is a setting at the calculated plan level. Customers can also define other compensation bases. Use, maintain compensation basis, task to see all the compensation bases defined in the tenant. You may set up a compensation basis to manage total base pay. This functionality is handy in countries like India, where total pay includes different components like HRA, medical allowance, transportation allowance, etc. Users may enter total pay on the staffing events. Workday automatically calculates and distributes the amounts to different compensation plans that are part of total pay. Compensation Package A compensation package is a grouping of compensation plans, grades, and compensation bases. The compensation package uses eligibility rules to identify workers eligible for its components. To have compensation plans default during the staffing events, workers must meet the compensation eligibility rules assigned on the compensation package and the plans. Compensation Elements Workday maps compensation plans to payroll earnings using compensation elements. You may combine elements into compensation element groups. Use tasks, maintain compensation element, and maintain compensation element groups to set up compensation elements and groups. Compensation components default during the staffing events. Workers must be eligible for compensation packages to be eligible for its components. Compensation grade and grade profiles assigned to job profile take precedence over eligibility rules. Here are different methods to default compensation during staffing events. Here are some scenarios for you to practice. This concludes Workday HCM Session 3 training. I hope you enjoyed this training. Once again, Thanks for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please visit our website hcmarmy.com. Also, you may reach us at 512-481-2747 or send us an email at contact us at hcmarmy.com. For more training videos, please follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel.